You made world headlines. You did move the market on Greek-German spread. What was the key insight from the finance minister? Uh, I think the key insight is that he's going to quit if we don't get a no vote come this weekend, Tom. Uh, Mr. Varoufakis has yet to put uh, his uh, hand in the ATM. He's yet to show solidarity, some would argue, with the Greek people and stand in line. But he is putting his, his fate as finance minister in the hands of the Greek people this weekend. Yes, votes. Come Monday night, you will not be finance minister. I will not. Right. Okay, so this is this yeah. is kind of make or break for you. But I will help whoever it is in order to right. push it through that building over there, the Greek Parliament. Tom, he still firmly believes that we are going to get a no vote come this weekend. He firmly believes that we are not going to continue this process of extend and pretend, as he puts it. And he says as well that he'd rather chew his arm off if we didn't see well, some sort of debt reorganization as being part and parcel of this process. I, I would agree with that, but I wonder how he plays to the Greek people. How are Cyprus and Varoufakis playing to the Greek people this morning? They love talking to Guy Johnson. Can they talk to their own people this weekend? Well, Mr. Seapress was on television last night. It was Oki, 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 i.e. no, no, no. That is what the message that he is putting across very, very clearly. He continues to blame the institutions for why the banks aren't open at this point and the Greek people can only take out 60 euros a day. He's blaming everybody else but his government at this stage. He still feels that a, a no vote is the way to go, Tom. And I have to say the polling really quite tight at this stage. Mm. Guy, it's not much of a concession, is it, if he quits, if there's a yes vote? Because that would be what the people would be expressing anyway at that point. They'd be expressing a disagreement with him that they want to stay in the euro. And he'd still stay on as a member of parliament. So what's the concession there? Yeah. Well, I think the concession there is that what he told me, Bonnie, was that he would sign up, that they would sign on the dotted line. There may be a little bit of wiggle room, and I probably should have pushed him a little bit harder on that, but that they will sign the deal that is on offer at the moment if that yes vote comes through. So I think that's what this is now about. I think you maybe we should, we should frame it in a different way and look at it the other way. If there is a yes vote, we sign this deal. And maybe that's the way we should be thinking right. about this referendum. Well, Guy, a good question about uh, what they do next. He says they will sign on the dotted line, but what is there to sign? What did he say about the fact that the Europeans have pulled the deal? Well, he, uh, uh, Mike, he's as, as ever saying <clears throat> that the rules will be made up uh, as, the, as we go along. He still firmly believes that there is a deal to be done, that a deal will be done very quickly. I pushed him on this idea about the banks opening next Tuesday. That's when they're closed until. I said, will the banks open kind of regardless of the outcome? And he kind of talks around that a little bit. But he did, but he, and I asked him then whether or not we're starting with a blank piece of paper. He said a deal could be done really quite quickly and there's actually very little room between the two sides. Guy Johnson, thank you so much in Athens.